Jason from Pop City Beats again. Um, this tutorial we're going to go over how to use FL Studio to export your sounds and upload them on BeatStars. So in BeatStars um, and other platforms like Airbit and those types of things, uh, normally you'd want to upload a, um, a high quality wave, so 24-bit wave file, um, your stems, so all of your individual channels, and you would want to uh, also upload like an mp3 that's tagged if you're offering that as a free download. Tag just meaning that you have some sort of signature audio that goes over your beat uh, so you know it'd be harder to pirate or something like that uh, but they could still download a copy and write to it and things like that. So let's get started. So here is a song that we're going to be exporting. Um, after you have the mix down exactly the way you want it what I would suggest you do is start off with the wave first. So uh, let's export wave file. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. We're, I'm going to put it into a folder. Every song that I have has its own folder in my uh, Pop City Beats folder. So, uh, and I've got that in my quick access list over here, so Pop City Beats. Um, and then we go to, this one's called The Basement. There we go. So we're gonna put the wave here. You can see I already have a wave. Uh, that I'll explain, that's the mastered version, which I'll explain in a little bit, but you just hit save. Now, uh, make sure this says 24 bit. Um, and it's stereo, obviously. I mean, I, that is default. Just make sure this button's not clicked yet. The split mixer tracks. Uh, everything else looks good. I'm gonna hit start, and I, I would I would render it now, but it's gonna take a long time. But you just hit start, and it'll save it into that folder, so you know where it is. The next step that I like to do is master it. Um, now you may be an audio engineer, and you may know how to master tracks. I do not. So, um, you know, instead, I don't have a lot of time and I don't have a lot of money. So I, what I use is a, a service called Cloud Bounce. Um, I used to use Lander, but the reason I'm using Cloud Bounce is because um, it, they had a deal where I could have a year's worth of free mastering for, well, not free, but a year's worth of mastering for, I think it was like $70 Canadian, um, which is amazing, right? Uh, Lander's more of like $15 a month. Lander spelled with no E, so L-A-N-D-R dot com. I've used both of these services and I believe Lander, Lander gives you more options and I believe the masters sound better. Um, but you can use your own judgment <coughs> and decide uh, what you want to do. But, you know, for now what I would do is drop it in here. They give you a few mastering options depending on the genre of music that you're, you're uh, producing. Uh, but get a good, nice mastered copy. Uh, so that's that's stage one. And then stage two, you would want to render a, uh, you would do it again. You would uh, export, go to wave again. This time I'm gonna call it, um, you actually wanna go back to your folder to you know, the folder where you know it is. Uh, like I said, every song that I have has its own folder, which helps with organization. I'm gonna call this the basement track outs, or as stems, we'll call them stems. Track out stems, same thing. I'm gonna put a new folder in here called the basement. You guessed it, stems. All right, open that guy up and I'm gonna save. This time I'm actually going to hit split mixer tracks. And I'm gonna render this, uh, I'm gonna stop the video because it takes a little while. I have a, you know, an i5 and only eight gigs of RAM so it takes a minute to do it. Uh, but I'll be right back and show you the results. We've exported the stems and I'll show you what that looks like real quick here. Um, when you export them, you know, you put them in that folder and they're all here. What I've also gone and done uh, is I like to clean these up. So there's one file that will have, you know, name of your song stems underscore and it'll say uh, current. I changed the name of that to whole song because 
uh, you know, it, what it means is it's the current version all mixed together. Um, I just call it whole song so your customer will know uh, not to include that as part of the mix, but it's actually the whole song. Uh, and I also removed some of the stems that were empty. So there was one called Piano Tinkles, as you can see, there's no audio in there. There was one called uh, uh, Lead Guitar, which doesn't have any audio, and there's one called Claps, which doesn't have any audio, um, which, you know, probably just clean up your, your beats before you export. That would probably be an easier way to do it, but I kind of did it the, the backwards way. But anyway, the customer still gets a nice clean set of those stems. Okay, so let's upload it to BeatStars, and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is go to My Media, go to Tracks under your content, and it'll bring you to all of your tracks. It, it, this would likely be a new song, so you want to click this plus button to add a new song. Uh, for this particular song, I just learned what sta stage ga gaining is, <laughs> and I created a much cleaner mix for this particular song. So um, I'm going to re-upload the file. So, you know, it's always better to have good quality beats before quantity, right? Because if somebody goes to your page and you have a page full of, you know, 50 garbage beats, who cares, right? So, you know, it's worth it to me to kind of go back and revisit some of the older beats once I learn something new and, and make improvements so that, you know, every beat is at top quality. So... Um, what, what I'm going to do is, instead of pushing this plus button, I'm going to edit the beat that I already have, but it's the same process for uploading your stuff. There are three things you need to upload. Uh, untagged wave, I would recommend a 24-bit wave. Uh, track stems, which you know is what we just did, and then tagged beats. So the first thing I like to do is upload the track stems, but let me show you real quick. Uh, Let's go to the folder where I keep it, Pop City Beats, the basement. What I did was I right clicked, hit 7-zip, and add to archive. Um, I believe Windows has a built-in tool that's not 7-zip that will do the same thing. Just click add to archive. And what that does is it puts it in a nice zipped file. You can't upload a whole folder. It has to zip it into one file, and that's how you get it uploaded. Uh, so I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna click track stems move my face over a little bit, upload a zip or RAR file. My device, you can see the little upload in the cloud symbol, choose files. Like I mentioned before, I always keep um, my Pop City Beats folder in my quick access so I can always find it quickly. I'm going to go to uh, the basement and I'm clicking, you can see a little zipper, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little zipper that shows that this is not a folder, but it's actually a zip file. And then you open that, and this pops up, and it says that you're uploading. Now, while you're doing that, um, what I like to do next is master the wave. So the stems don't need to be mastered because they're going to create their own mix and do their own mastering. But for the wave file, I like it to sound as good as possible. Do I know how to master? No. Uh, what I do is uh, I use Cloud Bounce. I don't have a lot of money and I don't have a lot of time, so I use a site called Cloud Bounce. They had a deal where I could get one year for uh, unlimited songs mastering for 70 bucks or something like that. And for me, it's worth it. Um, I've also used a service called Lander, L-A-N-D-R. Um, they have a lot more options, and I believe it sounds better. The, fi the final product, in my opinion, sounds better when you use Lander. Uh, but, you know, their pricing has changed. It's gone to uh, $108. You, you can get a high-quality MP3, but you don't get a high-quality wave. You still have to pay individually for $7 per high-quality wave. Um, you could get unlimited, but it's $300 a year. So, you know, I might learn to, to master uh, if that's what it's going to cost me, right? But for Cloud Bounce, for me, it makes sense. Um, so I use this. I, you know, the very first wave that I exported, um, what I would do is drag that in here. See the basement wave? Just drag it in. Um, and it will master it for you. Master file. Now that's going to take a little while to do, and I'll show you the results of that in just a moment. So while that is uploading, and I don't mess with this, don't start uploading anything else, your artwork, anything like that. Just let the stems go. 
and don't touch them until they're done. Uh, I found that if you try to upload two or three things at a time, it kind of messes up the process. So just let that go for a while. We're going to let this mastering go for a while and I'll be right back and show you where we're at. Um, so we have uploaded our stems and we have our track mastered. I'll, I just want to show you real quick. Uh, Cloud Bounce and other mastering tools, they give you this uh, awesome toggle feature where you can hear some of the original and some of the mastered. So let me just play a little bit of the original, then the mastered, and you can hear the difference. So you can hear a big difference, right? It opens up that audio spectrum and makes sure it's hitting the, the highs are crisper and the lows come in cleaner. Um, and I would recommend mastering any of the tracks that you have if you're uploading to BeatStars because when you think about it, people are just scrolling through one by one and any advantage that you can have that's gonna make your beat pop and sound that much better and that much more professional, um, why not, right? Uh, so uh, this has been uploaded, so we've uploaded the track stems. Um, I've already downloaded a mastered version of this. I just wanted to show you this in the dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and discard this. Okay, and let's let's do our next step. So our next step is to load our untagged wave, our untagged high quality mastered wave that's 24 bit. And I'm going to choose my files. I've already got it in my folder. And there it is. And that is working on uploading now. Great. So next thing we need to do is create a tagged beat. So what you want to do is open a clean uh, FL Studio session. Here, let me, let me make it a clean one here. Basic with limiter, untitled, right? You don't even have to mess with the tempo for this part. All you need to do is go in, pull in your high quality WAV file. And you're gonna to wanna to add a voice tag. This beat. There we go. Now a voice tag is simply a, a tag that you put on all of your streaming recordings that come into BeatStarps or Airbit or any of those other online platforms. Um, so people can still download your song, they can write to it, but they you know may not necessarily be able to put it out as a single, right? Something like that. Um, and it's a little bit of advertising to remind them of who, done, who uh, produced the track. So all I'm gonna do, I already have my voice tag kind of spaced out every 15 seconds or so. Uh, so all I'm gonna do now is kind of push this last one in a little bit. I'm gonna right click track two, go to track mode, insert two. And the reason I'm doing that is I wanna be able to control the volume of the voice tag. I'm gonna push it just a little bit out, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna go to my the mixer the mixer, here we go. All right, and go to song. This beat comes from Pop City. I can already tell that's a little too loud. So I'm gonna go back to the playlist. And I'm gonna go to a part of the song that's really, uh, you know, the full swing of the song. So right here, you can see the waveforms are kind of pushing the envelope and pretty full. So I'm gonna check this last one to see if the voice tag can still be heard. You want it to be loud enough to be heard, but not overtake the track. You want your track to be the star. So let's go back to the mixer. This beat comes from Pop City. It's pretty good, I can hear it. So, and this is for the, the tagged MP3. So the last thing I wanna do is actually go to the master channel go to the fruity limiter, and I'm gonna make it just a little bit louder. Now, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend this for, you know, obviously peaking and digital audio is a terrible thing. Um, but just to, you know, when you're playing it side by side with some of the other beats, you want it to, you know, like I said, stand out. And if it sounds, a lot of people kind of do this method, so if it sounds quieter, you know, that could be a, a detriment. Somebody could be like, ah, well, you know, I ain't really feeling this one as much as, the, oh, that loud one, right? Uh, so I just turn up the gain just a little bit 
and then I raise the ceiling above the gain. There we go. And you know, if if it's distorting and it's obvious it's distorting, then obviously put the gain back down. But let's let's have a listen. This beat comes from Pop City. So yeah, here here it is without the limiter, and then I'm gonna click the limiter. This beat comes from Pop City. Then off. It's not much, but it's just that little bit that might might help. So all you have to do now is export it. So export. Uh, and I'm going to do a tagged wave and a tagged mp3. The reason I'm doing the wave is I, li I like to add that to a YouTube video, which I'll have another tutorial on how to set up your, your uh, YouTube videos. But uh, I'm going to call this the basement um, tag wave. And the file extension does say wave as well, but sometimes I don't, sometimes when you hover over it, it doesn't always pop up, so I just put the word wave in. But anyway, uh, save. Now make sure you don't have split mixer track selected, otherwise it'll send all of your channels, right? So uncheck that. Uh, hit start. And like I said, the tempo doesn't even matter on this, so there you go. And then let's do the same thing, but we're going to do it with an MP3. File, export, MP3. Uh, the basement tagged. And I might have put this in the wrong folder. I might have put this in my stems folder, so you definitely want to double check that. Here we go, there's the MP3. And while that's going, I am going to check for that. I think I put it in here on accident. So we're looking for the basement tagged. Oh, I don't see it. I guess guess we're still good. The basement tagged wave. Okay, I did put it in the right folder. Good. Okay, awesome. So now we have those two. Uh, we're going to go back to BeatStars. We're going to upload the, it's hard to see here, tagged beats. Um, so I'm going to click Tag Beat MP3. We've already got our track stems. We've already got our high quality mastered wave. Now I'm going to add the MP3 that's tagged and it's just a little bit louder. There we go. I'll add that in. All right, awesome. So here's the next thing. You want to add artwork. So where did I find this picture? Google, <laughs> right? So you can Google any picture. Uh, let's say we were doing Anderson Pock instead of uh, Charlie Puth for this one. Uh, Anderson Pock. There we go. All right, and you go to images, find an image. Hey, I like this one. It's a good one. Um, then all you have to do is right click. And if you've done this a million times before, I'm sorry. I just want to, like I said, this this uh, this tutorial is for dummies like me. So um, I just want to explain every step. Uh, you would save link as. So you right click, save link as. I like to put everything in the song folder so I know where to find it. Um, you could rename it if you want to, but we'll go to the basement. I'll add that in, save. And you know what, maybe I'll change the picture on this one, just to, why not? Upload. And let me move my, there we go. I was in my own way there. Choose files. We're gonna go to our handy folder. Hmm, I thought the picture would be here. Oh well, for some reason the picture's not there. So maybe it was the wrong file type. Make sure it's a JPEG. But anyway, we'll just leave the artwork for there now. Um, and then you want to fill out all the information. So choose, uh, I always choose two artists that I feel like would be good for this song. This is kind of a, you know, you heard a little bit of this track. It could work for a, a Charlie Puth or a, an Anderson Pot. It's kind of a hybrid, you know, and I called it the basement because um, I, I picture like, like I used to go to a place called Nell's in New York City where they'd have live jazz and then the party would be down in the basement and then this would be the type of beat that you might be dancing to. So, you know, kind of that underground New York City 
coffee shop bar type of vibe. Um, pick three uh, artists that you feel like you could hear singing to it. Um, then you want to click, make sure this is, it defaults to private, so make sure this is not private if you want to sell your beat. Uh, licensing, I have mine in place, so we'll have a whole other tutorial on licensing um, and capturing emails and things like that. Um, I used a lot of samples on this one, so I put the names of the samples and Splice. So, you know, Splice has royalty-free uh, samples, put them all in there. You want to have your genre, your subgenre. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. In the description, I also like to put the names of the artists as well, so it's even more searchable in the platform. Beats per minute, the key it's in. And then you also have an option to add a uh, YouTube video, which I already have up. I'm going to be redoing it, though, since we've improved the audio, though, but you can just paste your URL and hit import, and it will bring in all the information for you. So that's it. That's how you use FL Studio to get your tracks ready and how to upload them onto BeatStars. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Um, if you have any questions, uh, post them in the chat. I'll, I'll see if I have time to, to answer them. We know, I know we're all busy, but I'll do my best. Um, uh, and if you like this video, click like. And if you have not already, please click subscribe. And I'll see you at the next video.